Hello students, welcome to Fatigue Analysis. I'm Dr. Stewart, and today we're gonna to do an example for multi-axial fatigue loading. Now this is example one, and in this example, a completely reversed uniaxial test at a stress amplitude of 20 KSI lasts for 100,000 cycles. Find the shear stress amplitude that would produce an identical life. We're provided with two diagrams. The first diagram is the Moore circle for our uniaxial loading case, where we have a sigma one that exists, a first principle stress that exists, sigma two and three are equal to zero, and tau max can be found as sigma one minus sigma three divided by three. So this is our, our Moore circle for the uniaxial case. We're also given a Moore circle for the pure shear stress case, and this is the case we want to find. We want to find what would be an equivalent pure shear stress amplitude. And in this case, we can see that our tau max is in alignment with zero uh, um, uh, normal stress. So that is our pure, pure shear stress case. And sigma one and sigma three can be calculated or back calculated from our tau max equation. Now let's get started actually solving this problem. Our knowns we know is, is that we know the stress amplitude is 20 KSI and that our cycles to failure is 100,000 cycles. Our unknown is the shear stress amplitude tau A, which is going to give us an equivalent life to the, to the uh, normal stress amplitude of 20 KSI. So our solution, let's first assume that this stress amplitude is applied on the x-axis. Let's then apply the distortion energy equation, meaning von Mises equivalent stress, which converts our stress tensor into a scalar value, where von, the von Mises scalar stress, the, the scalar von Mises stress is equal to one divided by the square root of two times all of our stress terms. Now what we'll do is since we say that, that the stress amplitude is applied in the x direction, we are going to replace sigma x with sigma a and all of our other terms, since there are no stresses in the y, z direction or shear stresses, all those other terms will be set equal to zero. When we do that, we can calculate that the von Mises stress for that uniaxial case is equal to 20 KSI. So that's pretty straightforward. Now, since the von Mises stress that we calculated is 20 KSI, let's now assume the pure torsion case, and let's assume that it's applied on, uh, about the z-axis such that only tau xy exists. So we're going to say that the left-hand side is equal to the 20 KSI we found, and the right-hand side is the state of stress for our pure shear fatigue uh, um, test. And when we do that, the only thing that exists is tau xy. We replace that with tau a, and we solve for tau a. And we find that tau a is equal to 11.547 KSI. Thus, the shear stress uh, amplitude that will produce an identical life is equal to plus or minus 11.547 KSI. So in this example, what we did was we used the von Mises equivalent stress as our failure criterion, as the criterion that decides failure. And if we can make uh, uh, that value, we calculated to be 20 KSI, if we can uh, uh, solve for a state of stress that gives us that same value, then we know that we should also have an identical life. So that was our first example. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.